Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakdown Dominus Series So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Dominus Series. These Dominus traps that have been released in Infinite Forbidden, so the latest set, and the Rage of Abyss that would be released in the next set, which would be Dominus Impulse. Anyways, with that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. And so we have the first trap that that has come out in Infinite Forbidden, which is quite recent, and you've seen it on uh, this channel, Dominus Purge. So what is its effect? If your opponent controls a card, you can activate this card from your hand. When a card or effect is activated that includes an effect that adds a card or cards from the deck to the hand, negate that effect. Then if you have a trap card in your graveyard, destroy that card. If you activated this card from your hand, you cannot activate the effects of dark, water and fire monsters for the rest of this duel. You can only activate one Dominus Purge per turn. Indeed, this is a brilliant card in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think this is a philosophy that I'm liking, that I like to see coming from Konami. Being able to deal with the issue of just a load of hand traps vanishing from the game. And I think this hand trap meta that we're in needs to stop. And putting a price on just hand traps, meaning that it advocates less hand traps in the deck, is a great step in the right direction for the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I approve of this. Let's go to the next Dominus card that's coming out in Rage of Abyss in the next set. And here we have it. It's called Dominus Im Impulse. So this is its effect as we know that of what it will be. So its effect states if your opponent controls a card, you can activate this card from your hand, similar to Dominus um, Purge. When a card or effect, in, or effect that includes an effect that special summons a monster or monsters, negate that effect. Even if you have a then, if you have a trap in your graveyard, destroy that card. If you activate this card from your hand, you cannot activate the effects of light, earth, and wind monsters for the rest of this duel. And then you will have that final clause, you can only activate um, one copy of Dominus Impulse per turn. Obviously, it's not written on there, but it would have that clause as well. This is a great card again, really advocating a strong, powerful effect, but at the same time, limiting the amount of monsters you could use so you can't just go and be splashing this and putting all other hand traps in your deck this is why i really like the dominus series it promotes healthy gameplay in our hand trap lineup and let's go to the overall conclusion so what do i think of the dominus series i think the dominus series is a great introduction to slow the game down, okay? I think being able to just use hand traps for no consequences is something we've been having in Yu-Gi-Oh! for a long time now, and that's something that needs to stop. So we should have hand traps, that is true, but hand traps should have a cost to them. Like all things, it shouldn't be that you're just able to just put loads of hand traps in your deck and there is no consequences to that. There needs to be a balanced mechanism so that we have, as I said earlier in a previous video, Toolbox Yu-Gi-Oh. You should, we shouldn't have the best cards for every situation, but the best card in certain situations. So that, for example, if you use Dominus Purge, you can't use dark, you know, water or fire monsters, right? But you are able to stop cards being able to be added from your opponent's hand. Okay? You can only do that once per turn, obviously. And if you use Dominus Impulse, you can't use Light, Earth, or Wind Monsters effects. But you are able to stop, you know, summons. So it's these sort of balancing features in mind is why I really like the Dominus series. And I hope to see this series of cards continue from Konami and we get all our hand taps replaced with Dominus cards, because I feel that is the way of the future. Well, that's all I've got to say. We come to the end 
of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. 